Hey everybody, Zach Butler YGO back with another video. This time I'll be showing you the Labyrinth deck I played at my case tournament today. Um, I went X1, um, losing only the last round to the Fire King deck. Uh, my hand game three was pretty abysmal, but I think even and I and I misplayed, so I'm not too sure I would have been able to win, even if um, I didn't misplay, but that's neither here nor there. Um, when X1, I uh, managed to win myself two boxes of Phantom Nightmare, which is pretty awesome, so I'm looking forward to opening those. And uh, yeah, this is uh, just the, the deck I decided to play, and I wanted to show you all what I've been working with. Uh, big shout out to Christian Urena for helping me with a couple of questions I had. Um, super nice guy, so I really appreciate that. And shout outs to all my opponents who are super nice. And yeah, we'll just jump right into the video. Uh, so first you have, for the the um, the ladies, uh, you have one lovely and one lady. Uh, this is a decision I wasn't too sure on. Previously I was playing two, uh, but I felt like one and one ended up being correct because this is tur it's turned into more of a combo deck than anything. Uh, unlike the old Labyrinth decks where you were playing like a bunch of really grindy games, you're honestly just trying to kill them as quickly as you can with this deck now. Uh, then I played three Ariana. Uh, I had been playing one Ariane previously, but there's a couple changes that I've made to the deck, um, fitting in like the unchained cards and stuff again. So had to cut those down. So just this is my normal summon. Uh, then for the furniture cards, uh, I played three Kuklok, three Shendra Gleer, and three Stovi Torby. Uh, I think these six are pretty normal. I would actually argue like these seven are pretty standard, but I'd Went with the full nine. Uh, no Arius. Uh, Arius is really good, but I found that uh, in all the testing I've been doing, pretty much all of my brick hands involved Lovely, uh, involved Arius, or involved like hand traps and stuff like that that just, you know, they didn't really get me anywhere. So I wanted to cut back on that and play as much just like raw good engine as possible. Max out on the furnitures for that reason. And then the one Sharvara, just because it's like a solid extender. I'll actually just go ahead and throw this in too. Uh, this is just like a two-card suite that changes how your deck plays significantly. Uh, this lets you do so much more. You can end with more interruptions because you get this as well as the Soul of Rage. And then you have Yama in the graveyard as well. These cards, I think, are really good for the deck. And they just give you a lot more reach than you otherwise would have, which solved some of the problems I was having with the deck before where I just wasn't able to do enough. And I think that uh, these definitely overperformed today, so I was really glad I played them. And then for Monster Hand Traps, I played three Ash and three Nibiru, just these six. Um, I played Imperm as well, that's in the trap section. Uh, I felt like Nibiru was going to be really good instead of, originally these were Drolls, uh, but it just kind of really got shown to me that like Droll just doesn't do enough. Um, and against like the Fire King deck and stuff, I'd rather have this than Droll. Uh, against Snake Eyes, I'd rather have this than Droll. I'd rather punish them than try to stop them from setting up and then watch as they to connect one, and then I get talents and they, you know, get to look at my hand and things like that too. So Nibiru was very good. Uh, people played into it consistently, which is great. Uh, one thing I was doing today was I was doing five pots. So you've got three Prosperity, two Extravagance. Um, I really liked this a lot. Uh, it gives you just a, a high number of consistency cards. Uh, the the theory here being like kind of like in cash, how you would play as many pot cards as you could before. You know, you play like the three prosperity and like the two desires. Same thing. Um, I just wanted to see as many consistency boosting cards as I could. Uh, you need to see as deep into your deck as you can because this, like I said, it even though it's a labyrinth and like historically it's been a trap deck, you are playing a combo deck now. So you want to see, you know, two cards. You want to see six deep so you can see your Ariana and things like that. Um, these really were very solid all day. Um, initially, I was just playing Extrav, and then one time I played just Prosperity. So um, doing both was very good. And then the one Labyrinth Labyrinth. Uh, this card is really strong, overperformed all day, honestly. Um, then for the Labyrinth Traps, I play three Big Welcome. And two regular welcome. I think that's pretty standard at this point. Just the five. I found myself setting out of one welcome quite often, but I uh, still wanted the three and or the two in the main deck just to have them uh, for game one. Uh, three transaction rollback. This card is absurd, and it makes it so that this deck is able to just play a much more aggressive game than it did before. Uh, a lot of games I would get like Ash or Bell on my big welcome, and then I would just have this to force it through anyway. So I, they just took an extra minus one for no reason, which was really solid. Um, 
liked that a lot. And then I played three Imperm, and then the only like utility trap I played was just one copy of the Black Goat Laughs. This card was pretty solid all day. Um, it wasn't like anything terribly amazing, or like terrifically amazing, but um, it was just nice to have. I didn't really want to have like IDP or um, like Druma Karmican and things like that. I just felt like they weren't doing enough, so this was pretty solid. This could potentially get cut for Karma Cannon. Uh, I think that card probably would have come up a little bit more, but this overall did its job well enough. So that was the main deck, 40 cards. And as always, if you like this sort of content, let me know with a comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to pick up any of the cards, please use the affiliate link found in the description below. A portion of that does go back to the channel, so you're helping me while you're helping yourself out, which is pretty awesome because... My goodness, in this expensive format, do I need all the help I can get. Uh, so the extra deck, I have two Chaos Angel. Uh, the second one never came up, but I did loop the first one a whole bunch today, actually. I summoned Chaos Angel today more than I have summoned it the entire time I played this deck combined. Um, I think I summoned it like four times, and that was the most I've ever summoned it. Um, like, from the extra deck, I've, and, you know, looping it and stuff like that. Uh, so this it was really solid. Um... Two Typhon. I kind of wish I had room for three just because this card is so good. But it didn't actually come up. Um, but, I, you know, I probably would have wanted that. Like, I'm, I like having the, the option there. Uh, two SP. Uh, this is not necessary at all. The second one never came up. Uh, the first one never came up, actually. Um, and actually, I think what I should have done is this should probably be a dark. Um, so I think going forward, I'll cut the second SP for Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Um, but, you know, obviously, like, the one, if you have it, is great, just because then it's an option. And then I played three Unchained Soul of Rage, three Unchained Soul Lord Yama, one Muckraker, one Unchained Soul of Anguish, and one Unchained Abomination. Um, all of these were very good. I did consider playing a Underworld Goddess, but... We ended up going with this instead. Uh, the Abomination was just really good for like going second and pushing through established boards because that can be sometimes a part an issue this deck can have is like breaking apart boards effect effectively. So this is really good. Uh, the extra deck I cited three Phantasmae. Uh, it didn't come up today, but um, with how much like the the fire decks are link summoning stuff like that, I think this card just like gets really deep and lets you have targeting protection, which can be really good against Promethean Princess. Um, to protect your field, at least. Uh, two Effect Veiler and one Ghost Bell. So I had 13 cards decided, and then the two Veilers were in there just to be, like, the last two slots. They overperformed today. Um, they are extremely good into the, the Fire King deck, so that might be something to consider, too. Um, and then the one Bell was for the three Crossout Designators. Um, I drew the Singular Bell and never drew crossout designators so i can't really comment on how crossout has been um i i'm not really like historically a fan of this card but with how prevalent bell is and how much that card can be crippling to this deck i feel like i might just have to play it anyway uh two cosmic cyclone for pretty much everything one called by the grave just because that card's crazy uh one uh Different Dimension Ground, one D Barrier, and one Eradicator Epidemic Virus. These are the, the utility traps of choice to bring in for the L Lady Labyrinth. Uh, so that was the deck. Like I said, I went X1, which is pretty cool. Um, won a couple boxes of Phantom Nightmare, which is pretty nice. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else we can do this format. Let me know down below if you have any suggestions or feedback. And until next time, have a great day.